it's officially Easter break and I never thought that life would bring us to the point where we have, where we have to come to school to study during the Easter break. What is this? Thank you. Shit red. What are we practicing today, Safi? Uh, what are we practicing today? We are uh, practicing uh, echo core. Echo core? <laughs> <laughs> echo cardiography. Yeah. Basically, ultrasound of the heart. Yes. Are, are you ready, Devi Paji? Yes. Let's go. Yeah, he's gonna be a cardio. He's a future cardiologist, and here we have the future. Um, nothing. Nothing. Doctor eyesight. Eyesight. Yeah, bro. When you about to become blind, okay? You will come to me, and I will say, "What did you say? <laughs> nothing, right? Now you see nothing, self." Nothing. <laughs> I hope my heart is healthy. Your heart is healthy. Is... People, people tell me all the time, "Arun, you have a big heart. You have a very generous heart." I don't have any. I hope I don't have any hypertrophy or any dilatation of the heart. Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. I feel complete. Bro, bro, you're too handsome, yeah, Arun. Shit, bro. Oh, someone save me from these monsters! Someone save me from these monsters! I love it. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> What do we see here? This uh, left ventricle. Yes. You see the left ventricle and the right uh, ventricle over there. And then we see the right atrium, and then the left uh, atrium, and then the, the mitral wall with the tricuspid wall. So your heart is uh, exceptional. Uh, exceptional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, really beautiful. Exceptional. Wow! Exceptional. Look at the Mario Kart. Oh, alright, guys. So the biggest perk about being a medical student is that you don't have to go to a cardiologist all the time to get your checkups done. You can just take the probe, the transducer, and you know, portray your heart on the screen. And there we go. I'm gonna make a show them. Such a beautiful heart. Yeah, after that, we did some ECG practice, like how to put on the chest leads and everything, and how to read. um read in uh, or interpret um an ecg so uh, that is done and now i am on my way to work because it's wednesday and for those of you who have been following me since the very beginning you know i have to work every freaking wednesdays so the rest of my evening is going to be spent at work which is honestly a bit boring at this point and i'm so tired because i'm also fasting but uh, you have to do what you have to do but tomorrow morning um We have to come back again to school to practice some, to for some, for some more Oski stuff. This is life these days. Whew. I literally woke up at like 11:30 today, slept like a horse, uh, and have been pretty much lazy. Haven't done anything useful the entire day. Right now it's around, I think it's 2 p.m. and uh, on my way to university to do some more Oski practice as usual. You know. Mm -hmm. Just do the commentary. Bro, I have to leave again. Okay, guys. So this is uh, Arham as a heart patient. Um, Shafi as a cardiologist. He is uh, checking if everything is okay. As you can see, your favorite YouTuber has a very hard time right now with breathing pain. And. Uh, He was just hurting, but now he's saying that it doesn't hurt. So and now I'm going to. It's a very tricky, tricky patient. Doctor, then, I think I have a problem with my chest. Yeah. For some reason, my chest keeps on moving like this. What? <laughs> oh, guys, so he has now, some muscle twitching. Put your mouth open, please. Open. <clears throat> guys, comparison is the thief of joy. गाइस Yesterday I was speaking to Abhinash, one of my friends from uh, from my previous batch, uh, and he's a doctor now. And um, I was asking him for some tips. Abhinash, if you're watching this, shout out to you because I know he usually does watch my vlogs. Um, great guy. Anyway, I was asking him for some tips because I was a bit worried uh, as to why not I'm able to score more than seventy percent on the past paper questions that I've been doing. 
uh, I mean, I know that I can easily pass my exam with, you know, 65% or even like so 70% of the exam, but it's not giving me that feeling of, you know, being uh, safe and secure. Uh, and I really want that feeling. I'm really missing that feeling. So I was asking him for some tips and then he just um, tried to help me out. So I'll try to implement his tips. I just really hope that before my final exam, before my written exam, I am able to answer around minimum 75% answers correctly. Um, 80% would be the ideal, that's what I'm aiming at. But I would, I would be satisfied if I can go up to like at least 75%. So that's the goal, let's see if that can happen. The exam is not too far away, I don't have much time on my hands. So let's see if I can improve my skills at this point. Uh, right now, I maybe you can tell or not. But I'm really tired. I don't have much energy in me right now. Um, the fast is about to open in a couple of hours. So uh, now I have to meet my friends outside of uni and uh, we're gonna open our fast together. And see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Peace and again, once again, thank you for following along the journey.